For several years now, the scientific community has been engaged in a profound debate regarding the potential colonization of Mars. Elon Musk, the visionary behind SpaceX, has been an unwavering advocate for the possibility of establishing a human presence on the Red Planet. In this video, I will delve into Musk's plans to colonize Mars. Before we begin, take a moment to like and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe for more exclusive content. Now let's commence our exploration. One of the driving forces behind Musk's pursuit of Mars colonization was his belief that NASA wasn't doing enough to facilitate human travel to the Red Planet. Moreover, with concerns over Earth's long-term habitability, Musk founded SpaceX, a pioneering rocket company that has gained significant attention. Mars, despite being roughly 140 million miles away, stands out as one of the most viable, habitable planets in close proximity to Earth. Although it experiences a harsh climate, with extreme cold and limited sunlight, it still presents conditions that humans can adapt to. One fascinating aspect of Mars is its atmosphere, which primarily consists of carbon dioxide, CO2, along with traces of nitrogen, argon, and other gases. By compressing the Martian atmosphere, humans can create an environment suitable for growing plants. Despite the Martian day being slightly longer than Earth's, at roughly 24 hours and 37 minutes, and the gravity being only 38% of Earth's, humans have demonstrated the ability to adapt and survive on Mars. However, Musk acknowledges that the initial humans on Mars would likely not survive indefinitely. He envisions that they would fulfill their mission of exploring Mars and living out their lives before succumbing to the inhospitable conditions. The journey to Mars itself is no small feat, taking approximately six months. It would require around 1,000 spaceships and a million tons of supplies, including essential resources like vitamin C, to sustain life on the Red Planet. Musk firmly believes that establishing a self-sustaining city on Mars is the key to long-term habitation. This has posed a significant challenge, particularly regarding the resupply of ships. Currently, the issue of returning ships from Mars to Earth after landing has been extensively discussed. NASA has confirmed that their supplies sent to Mars will not cater to tourism, but rather ensure the continuation of life on the planet. Sustaining life on Mars heavily relies on calculating the necessary resources for colonization. Due to the planet's unique conditions, the initial colonists may encounter difficulties without sufficient supplies to sustain them for the intended duration. SpaceX's solution involves the development of the Big Falcon rocket, BFR, which boasts 42 powerful Raptor engines and stands at an impressive height of 25 stories. Musk envisions the BFR carrying hundreds of tons of cargo to space, gradually scaling up to 1,000 tons. The BFR will propel the Starship into space and connect with an already established booster for support throughout the journey to Mars. SpaceX plans to launch reusable Starship rockets multiple times per day, carrying payloads of 100 tons. With over 1,000 flights per year, each carrying more than 100 tons of cargo, a total of 100,000 tons of supplies will be available in orbit, ready for delivery to Mars. Taking advantage of the best alignment between Earth and Mars, which occurs every 26 months, SpaceX envisions sending around 100,000 people to Mars using 1,000 starships. Fueling the starships will require a combination of consumption during the ascent into Earth's orbit and refueling in space. Tanker spaceships will launch to replenish the carriers with additional fuel, ensuring their successful journey to Mars. SpaceX's employees are diligently working on building the starship system. Elon Musk clarifies that the colonization of Mars won't happen in the immediate future. However, he envisions a future with abundant job opportunities and direct democracy on the Red Planet with inhabitants making decisions for themselves, supported by less complex laws compared to Earth. Food production will rely on solar-powered hydroponic farms located underground or within enclosed structures. The landing site for the Starship will be strategically chosen near subsurface water and ice deposits to harness sufficient sunlight for powering the colony through an array of solar panels. Refueling the spaceships will rely on resources found on Mars, utilizing a fuel combination of liquid methane and liquid oxygen. This fuel can be produced using the Sabatier process, which synthesizes methane from atmospheric carbon dioxide. 
the necessary resources can be extracted from water ice present on Mars. Generating a substantial amount of fuel on Mars would require an estimated 26 months and approximately 56,600 square meters of ground covered with solar panels. These solar panels can be transported in a single starship. Interestingly, Elon Musk's boring company, known for its tunneling efforts on Earth, might also be involved in the colonization process. It could play a crucial role in digging the Martian surface to access subsurface water. Additionally, to shield the human colonies from ionizing radiation, initial settlements might be established in deep subsurface artificial encampments. Maintaining communication with the colonists on Mars poses another challenge. SpaceX's Starlink satellite network aims to establish reliable communication pathways between Earth and Mars. Autonomous vehicles, such as cars or trucks, could be employed to carry out distant and arduous missions for the colonists. These vehicles might even transport products for refueling purposes on the Martian surface. The initial starship sent to Mars would be filled with essential machinery and cargo required for future missions, enabling humans to construct sustainable facilities, generate power, extract water, and transform raw resources into oxygen and methane fuel for safe return launches to Earth. The first two uncrewed starships will survey the water resources and identify areas of interest on Mars. They will also assess potential hazards and establish necessary infrastructure, including potential launching pads for subsequent crewed spaceships. Assuming the reconnaissance missions are successful, SpaceX could then proceed to send crewed starships to Mars. The initial crewed starships would serve as temporary residences for astronauts, facilitating further evaluations and potentially reducing the complexity of the mission by deferring the immediate need for habitat construction on the planet. Elon Musk has expressed his ambitious vision of completing a Mars base by 2028. However, many life support experts doubt the feasibility of meeting the necessary technological requirements within that time frame let alone establishing a permanent city for colonization. Nevertheless, Musk has consistently demonstrated a knack for achieving seemingly unthinkable goals. He envisions Mars as a backup for humanity, providing a viable refuge should life on Earth become unbearable. Musk has previously discussed the concept of terraforming Mars, although NASA remains skeptical about the long-lasting potential for such a transformation. Mars's thin atmosphere, which has less than 1% of Earth's atmospheric density, poses challenges in sustaining a comfortable planetary atmosphere. Nevertheless, SpaceX continues to forge ahead, building its first set of Starship orbital vehicles and conducting tests at its facility in Boca Chica, Texas. The colonization of Mars is undoubtedly a long-term endeavor that will span several years. However, the potential rewards and knowledge gained from such an achievement would undoubtedly be priceless. Thank you for watching this video, and as always, stay tuned for more exciting updates.